So Caboose is a thick client that we've written uh, over the last couple of months for Saturn as part of Project Rhea. Um, and so this is this is going to be relatively quick, but I'll talk a little bit about where that fits in and, and the, the point, what we get out of, of doing this uh, and why we need a, a thick uh, client. Um, so, so let me first give a, a, a basic view of sort of like what's going on in Caboose. Caboose sort of has two big data structures. One is it has a pool of the nearby Saturn nodes that it wants to send requests to. Uh, and it keeps those sort of logically arranged in a stable hash. So based on what SID you're asking for, that hash is somewhere into something that looks sort of like a DHT um, and, and chooses one of the uh, nearby Saturn L1s to send the request to. Uh, and, and the reason that you use stable hashing there right, is that it really improves your cache affinity, that, that a node is getting sort of a, a limited uh, space of SIDs that it is responsible for. Uh, and as a result, uh, that, that node then can, can do better in having a warm cache for those. Uh, and then the other data structure that we keep is sort of a pool of other nodes that will sort of swap in if one of these nodes starts being bad. So we've got sort of the fallback uh, set of Saturn L1s. Uh, and then what Caboose is doing is as it's getting requests, it's sending a, a small fraction of those to, it, it's mirroring them and sending a copy to sort of these other pending nodes to, to get a sense of, are they working right? Are they fast or should it swap one of those in because they're doing better than, than the current ones? So what, what are we doing here? We've got, you know, on a normal CDN, you'd use DNS uh, generally to talk to your CDN. Um, but DNS is centrally controlled, right? So someone has to run that DNS. That DNS has someone's name on it. And if we're really building a decentralized CDN, we ideally don't have you know, a single entity that can turn off DNS. Uh, and so if you imagine uh, that future in a year or something, we would have, we can, we can register the Saturn nodes through a smart contract and on-chain and in a decentralized way. But you've got to then have a client that finds who's registered and sends the request there. And so as long as you've got you know, a thicker software stack, be that a JavaScript service worker uh, or a caboose in, for Golang clients, they can actually go out and pull and find um, the, the set of active nodes near them uh, in, a, in a way that is decentralized and that, that is resilient. Um, the, the other, and, and so we, we want to provide sort of one layer of abstraction beyond just a direct list. Uh, and that, that's what it does. DNS also uh, has a bunch of caching things that, that aren't what you're going to want if you're running something that's really a, you know, doing a lot of traffic and doing a lot of requests, right? If we're, if we're running things like uh, the, the IPFS.io gateway where we're sending hundreds and thousands of requests uh, per second, it's, it's sort of unacceptable to wait for the minute long DNS timeout before we fall over to another working uh, Saturn node. Uh, so we want to be able to be much more responsive uh, to node failures. Uh, and the way that we can do that is by having that active pool and active management in the, in the client software to, to quickly notice a, that a node isn't responding and start redirecting the request that would have gone to it somewhere else. Uh, and so custom software there can do better than just a standard HTTP client. Um, I, I guess the other one is that DNS doesn't always get you the fastest nodes, right? It, it gives you who the, the DNS server uh, is thinking is probably in your region. Um, but based on doing sort of these active measurement uh, things, which is on each request, we're looking at how fast it comes back and using that to understand what our actual latency is to these Saturn nodes. We can have a, a much more realistic ranking of which nodes are performing well for us. Um, and then we also, by having the thick client, get to do a couple of additional things that are really useful for SAC. One is this mirroring to find other nodes. That, that, that's active software, right, that's, that's doing that. Um, but the other one that we can do is, is an amount of challenge and verification of Saturn itself. So we can send challenges uh, for SIDs that we know, uh, you know are unique, uh, and then we can make sure that we get them uh, and that they you know, don't show up also back in the logs of some other Saturn L1 or in the gateway. Uh, and so there's types of misbehavior that we can detect and then remove nodes from misbehaving uh, as a result of that. So uh, by, by having this client software, we get sort of the, the validation in both directions with logging for payments, with making sure that nodes are behaving correctly. And then also we can get better performance. Uh, so that's, that's the thick uh, client that is Caboose. Uh, for Saturn. Uh, thanks uh, hugely to Arsh and the, the rest of the Saturn team, and then also for everyone involved in Bifrost Gateway for the integration uh, and working with us on, on the design of Caboose. Uh, we uh, expect to launch it with Rhea uh, relatively shortly, so uh, it'll become another part of the interplanetary stack. All right, I think that's what I've got.